I just upgraded the use case manager app to version 2.3 and noticed several good things added to it. Plenty of things about MITRE. I may do a separate video on MITRE. There are many features related to that. So this is going to be everything but MITRE. So let's start. Let's say that I'm going to be, I selected the default template, by the way. Okay. And let's say I'm going to be selecting the the group, my favorite rule, the Sysmon rules. And let's say that I'm going to be searching for those that have unsigned in it. Okay, and I have all those rules in there. If I click on the first one, process loaded and unsigned DLL, and this is the, the cool thing about the visualization. This three icons that we have. Now it, it even shows, before it didn't even show the reference that it shows any precedent rule or building block and any uh, child or dependent uh, rule or building block. But now you can specify, show me if this rule has any reference set and it will show it graphically. Does it have any custom property? Does it have any log source? So this helps the visualization, makes this actually far more useful than before, which was useful, but this gives, gives you the whole visual detail of what is going on. So in the filters, they are very many places or several places where you have this new select all. So I can select all the groups at once. You get all those filters in there. And if we scroll down, we see that that option also exists when we look into the log source type and the log sources as well, as well as the log source group. It's actually very nice. Well, now that we are here also, I want to mention that uh, this domain thing is very good, especially if you are an MSSP and you want to search specific rules per domain, but now you have the option to actually do that as well. So, there's also an option, let me uh, f eliminate this uh, filter on the unsigned one to get all the other Sysmon rules. And notice that there is a search, as you saw here, the capability of searching by your nodes. If we go down here, I should see it. Here it is. So, as you know, in your rules, you by default, in the Sysmon, there are a bunch of nodes. Or you sh if you create your own rule, you should add a node in order to explain to somebody else or yourself a couple of months later what is it that you were doing with this rule. So if we look at uh, in here for escalation, or lowercase, and click Apply, actually click on the very first rule in here. We can flip, if you don't want this graphic, you can flip, flip it down like that, that was uh, also done before. And if we go here on their notes, we see that the word escalation, notice that the search is not case sensitive here. Escalation start with capital E. So it's a good way of uh, incentive you to write your notes and to search for the rules uh, by what you put on those notes or what it, what it came by default when you added the rule. Also, notice that in the columns that are available here, now you have the response which you didn't have before. So you specify what type of response the rule has. And speaking of responses, can actually clear this here. Here on their response, there is a new type of response which is SNMP trap. So if your rule has that option, you can search for it with this filter. Let's actually show another very important addition, which is this icon here is meant to be grouping. Uh, so let's uh, select another template that can show us that and let's use log source type per custom property this one we applied that 
template notice that it has already grouped them by 53 custom properties if we click here to toggle the grouping there are actually 1576 items so it, this is kind of hard to deal with all that very many custom properties because they are repeated uh, in as you see here account name account name account name etc so you can actually click here and have them group and get reduced to your uh, 53 and if we expand this in here notice that there are 213 of those and we saw <laughs> several already and uh, you can click on any one of them and look at the specific rules in this particular case there are four of them so a good way of actually grouping things up much better but you don't have to be constrained to just what is on the template you can actually let's go back to the default template and let's actually perform a search that we're going to be modifying the columns in it so let's besides that filter let's actually go in on their other test down below here test other test expand this one and select reference set and apply and that give us uh, let's see how many rules let's actually switch to the reference sets per rule template and what we're going to be doing let's actually flip the search so instead of having rule name reference set what we want to do is actually the reference set here followed by the rule name and then the test definition so we click here on the gear and what we want is to move the reference set up so notice that icon that comes like a little hand I can actually move that one up and add the column test definition and click apply so notice that there are 289 items if we want to group them by reference set we click on this and that gets reduced somehow to 113 of them we can expand it the mail server you know and here we have those rules we can expand every one of the rules uh, further down also in the templates you can create your very own template so if you start by defining the search that you want so let me uh, clear all of these and let's say that I just want to work with rules that works with flows right so let's scroll here to the top so we type here flow rules and that's the search that we want when we click apply we see that we have 20 rules in my system here at the first page that are and let's let's say that these are the rules that you actually want to work with well you go here on the templates and you add a custom template and you're going to call it uh, rules that work with flows you can put a description here you can put it as a template as a default template that you want and you click in here so now every time I come back into my system let's say that I, I'm going to clear all these click apply say that I want to work and I'm, I'm revising those uh, flow rules all I need to do is clear on the templates click on my template and that is it here are my 20 rules let's clear all these let's say that uh, I want to work let me click here apply I'm going to work with a group of rules let's say I put my search and I want to change a bunch of things on several rules at once so I'm going to ungroup this because as you can see they are actually grouped and now you have the option to click well notice that I changed the 
the order of the columns. In fact, let me go back to my uh, default template. So, so let's say you, you perform your search, you have a group of rules in here, I have all of them, and you want to edit them in bulk. Well, now this nice pencil icon allows you to check several boxes at once and you are presented with these two options the miter miter my mappings which I'm not going to be doing in this video or opening rule wizard and when you do you have those three rules in here you can switch uh, between them you know and you have the all the test conditions in it you can modify what you want again is the rules wizard the same way that you do it with one rule now you are doing it uh, with several of them and I also read that uh, now when a new version of the use case manager comes up which apparently is, is often they're putting a lot of code into this there's going to be a banner here indicating that there is a new version of it so you don't have to rely on the assistant app for, for the use case manager at least